we release Directus 11.1 and with it a major new feature which is useful for every Directus project but really impactful for users of Directus Cloud where Directus runs on our infrastructure and that feature is log streaming. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so here we have a system logs uh, kind of session already begun over here. And this is ultimately a debugging tool to help you understand what requests are being made in your director's project. So as I click around, uh, you will see here that logs are being shown over on the left hand side. And that of course also includes errors uh, that may be happening. So you can have a little bit more of an idea of how that's happening. You can click into any given request and get a little bit more information about it. Uh, and you can filter all of the logs here uh, by log level. By default, they're all enabled. And if you're running a multi-node directors instance, you can also specify which, uh, which nodes or instances you want to see logs for. Uh, you can access this straight from your project settings here from Directus version 11.1.0 and you can change the logging style by changing the log style environment variable. Now, like always, we are open to feedback, so we'd love to see uh, your feedback about this feature, but hope you find it useful. In the last month, there have also been a couple of smaller releases of Directus before 11.1, and these included some notable new features. Firstly, we added support for listening on Unix sockets instead of a host and port, which allows for inter-process communication. This was a community contribution, so thank you very much for that. You can now also use an environment variable to configure how long invites last before they expire. This is really helpful if you have to create invites, but they were tending to expire before being used. And finally, we have also added support for indices via a new is indexed field, which means you don't have to do this directly in your database anymore, but can instead use Directus. So that's what's new across Directus version 11.0.2, 11.0.3, and Directus 11.1.0. They're available now on Docker Hub and on Directus Cloud, and we can't